no owner is interested in dealing with any kind of condensation on the inside of the facade. Like that's, you know, just like a litigation, like just getting ready to be teed up, you know, by the occupants right at some point and like potential mold growth and all these other like horror stories, like coming back out of the the nineties. Right. So we, we typically illustrate that sort of thing and, and point to condensation risk as it relates to like, you know, the thermal, continuity of the facade you know and that's where like thermal bridging can be described like pretty effectively you know it's like well actually like this piece of metal is going to be so cold you're going to have condensation developing here and it's going to damage you know your your surfaces unless you move the window or you change this anchor or make the insulation continuous you know and that that's always been super effective i found i was going to add another uh <clears throat> uh there were during one of the polar vortices that's happened uh, in the past bunch of years, there was one time, I think it was somewhere in the Midwest, there was like a <clears throat> social media phenomenon of people posting photos of like weird things that were happening in their house because it was so cold outside. And <clears throat> I have this one, I, I stole one of somebody's um, electrical outlet with ice on the inside of, of their electrical outlet. and. The description had something to do with it was over their garage or something and you know some addition on a, uh, on a house that was you know and it was a perfect illustration of infiltration you know like wreaking havoc yeah <laughs> like ice on your electrical outlet yeah i mean 